Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nats and I hope you are happy and healthy and doing okay. It's another story time video, but I decided to take you out a bit, you know, show you around and so on. Instead of being in my apartment, just, you know, sitting down in one place. So today's video is actually the story about how I came to Japan, why I came to Japan and all the messes that happen with coming here so if you want to hear about that please continue watching all right guys and as usual before we get right into the video i have my bag here ready to shout out somebody new so going into the bag these are all your comments from all my videos every time a person leaves a comment i write their name down i write their comments down and i drop it right in this bag and then in the beginning of every video for a period of time i will just be taking out one and notifying that person out loud and proper on my channel so let's see who this person is and this person is rafa tv all right and their comment to my channel or his comment to my channel i know rafa tv uh my high school friend Duane Anderson big up yourself. Thank you for watching my video Thank you for commenting and your comment was welcome to the YouTube family and this was taken from way back when in my first first video here on YouTube, so thank you for watching Duane and We'll jump right back to the video. All right. All right guys so first things first is the reason I decided to come to Japan and I mean, those who do know me know the fact that Adam was in Japan a long time before I was well. Not really a long time, like maybe eight months. So at the time when he was applying for jobs to come to Japan, I was just about like a month or two from graduating college, that's teacher's college, money college. Yeah, big up yourself. Yeah, so I was a month. I was a month out from graduating college and you know um, going into the the world of job hunting and so on and he was about to leave Japan at that point in time we were together for at least seven eight months almost a year because this was like May and yeah he was um, applying for jobs in Japan of course I was not happy with it because uh, the the idea of a long distance relationship really stressed me out. I had no faith that it would work out. Nothing like that. Yes, yeah, so I wasn't a fan of the long distance relationship. I really had no faith that it would work out any at all. And so I was a bit discouraging during that period of his life. However, uh, he was very set on doing it and I had to support him nonetheless. So he did that while I was of course starting my job search in Jamaica and to be honest it was not looking very good for me any at all and and so you know I he told me he started to you know convince me about applying for a job in Japan and then I was like uh, my mother is here my family is here I can't leave them all of that stuff started going through my mind and I was like no Japan is not for me Going overseas and you're tall to live is definitely not for me because if anybody knows me, I'm a mama's girl. I love my mama. I I, I, I want to be where she is all the very, like, all the time. I, I just love that woman. So that was what was happening uh, there. And guys, my hair is all over the places. It's very windy today. So yeah, um... During that period of time, he applied, then he was convincing me to apply, and then I decided to apply around July, thereabout. but he was leaving in August, and so the long-distance relationship that I also dreaded became a thing, and I, have, I had to work with it, and that's what we did. So that was August, I applied for a job, and I will not be saying the company's names that I applied to because you know privacy reasons and so on 
and yeah that is basically how I decided to come to Japan all right guys so right after that Adam um, I decided to start applying for you know teaching jobs in Japan and so I created an account on gaijinpot.com and that is really a massive site that advertises different Japanese jobs based on what you want teaching jobs hotel industry jobs just every single field that you can think of they offer it there so that is that was the first step that I took I, I applied to a number of companies hoping for a response of course during that time Adam was preparing for his leave in August and this was about July Adam was leaving in August and so we were dealing with his papers and so on to um, for him to make his departure and so we just had to had we just had to have a little faith that I would actually get a job but Adam did make a promise um, that if I did not get a job because you know you come to Japan one year at a time and if you he said to me that if I didn't get a job and you know come over to Japan within his first year then he would come back to Jamaica because he understood that the long distance relationship for me I was just I was just very panicky about it I really had no faith in it but I we, we, we decided to try it anyway so that was his promise to me thankfully I did get a job here and you know it made the process a little easier all right so guys if you want to know more about the process the actual process of getting a job in Japan I will do a separate video on that if that's what you want if you do want that comment them down below and of course give this video a thumbs up so that I can be aware and I'll create that video for you guys with no problem whatsoever so back to the story okay guys and just a disclaimer that the safest job position that you could possibly apply for to come to Japan is teaching like all the other jobs even though you sign up on Gaijin Pot and they have a million jobs listed the easiest one for, for us as English speakers with no Japanese ability is to actually apply for a teaching job because you don't need Japanese ability to be able to teach English but all the other ones such as working in a hotel industry and so on you'll be communicating with mostly Japanese so you will need Japanese ability so bear that in mind if you're coming to Japan you definitely have to come teaching for an easier uh, life lifestyle and my hair is flying away oh my god all right so after a few weeks like before Adam even left remember I applied in July and then it was August we were still preparing for Adam to leave and I got my first email from a company that I uh, applied to and they were basically saying thank you for applying through Gaijin Pop but I needed to submit their official application form which of course as I said I'll mention that in the video about how to get a job here in Japan if that is what you want all right so I received an email saying that they received my application and if I am really interested I should you know resend using their own application form I did that and then they got back to me within like two weeks after screening process and all of that saying that they wanted to offer me a position and of course I was off the moon by this time Adam was of course gone to Japan and I was so sad and alone in Jamaica and at that time that was the driving force that led me to get on everything very quick because guess what I want to go to Japan now my man gone me a you understand right back I'm gone well I mean for those <laughs> I believe in you know I believe in I want to be where he is so yeah I they offered they said they wanted to offer me a job I accepted a job right away I read everything of course I had to and but the main aim was not to be picky about the job it was just to get my butt in Japan all right so I did accept that job and the company did a whole lot of initial screening and uh, I had to do an interview where you know a regular job interview and then of course um, I had to do a demo lesson that's a whole other story and so on and I ended up getting um, an offer for a specific place in Japan and the problem with that offer was that it was not in the same place that Adam was and that was another story for us to tackle all right guys so 
Of course, they asked for required documents and so on. I had to send them a whole lot of documents, passport, degree, this, that. And, you know, at this time, I encountered a problem because one, I did not receive my degree. It wouldn't have been ready until the following year, January. This was August. Uh, 2017 it wouldn't be available until January 2018 and that was a problem secondly they asked for my passport and when I check guys I thought I had a passport I could have sworn I had one because I knew that I did one while I was in college and I could not find my passport for the life of me I didn't know where it went and that was another problem I had to email them really quickly and say okay listen I am going to have to apply for a new passport that is going to take at least three months based on the information that I got from the passport office and you know they, they understood my situation and I do have my book here I they did an they did understand my situation and they did say that um, even though they're talking to me in August, September, they wouldn't actually need to apply for my COE, that's my certificate of eligibility, to get my Japanese visa ready. So they wouldn't need it until January actually, but they are just in the process of collecting documents. And so I had a little time to sort that out. So I did get that sort out. And guys, let me tell you, if you lose your passport, and you're planning to go to a foreign country get it done before you start applying because trust me the wait time to get a new passport when it is lost or stolen is ridiculously long it took me like three months to get my passport you got to do the police report you got you, just too much hassle just have your passport all right just have your passport okay so walk with me a little bit uh so after i did my passport and all of that stuff and submitted it to that particular company um they sent my certificate of eligibility and then I had to use that certificate and bring it to the Japanese embassy in Jamaica that is in Kingston and that process took like five days in total. I went with the application on a Monday and I got my Japanese visa in my passport the following Friday, the same Friday, so same week, five days and that is very efficient. Now one thing to note is that and probably I should leave this as information for the other video, the, the whole length of the passport and so on. So I'll leave that out. But I did get my Japanese um, visa in my passport. And then, of course, to come to Japan, you need to go through the US some way, shape or form. I mean, there are countries that I could have transited through that do not where Jamaicans don't need a visa. But... I wanted to go through America just because coming to Japan, oh, there's a plane. So my son, come in aside. Okay, so back to the video. So uh yeah, there were many countries that I could have gone through, but as I said, coming to Japan was would would be my first time traveling ever in my life and so i wanted to go through the u.s because my dad lives in the u.s and at least i could you know uh, meet up with him when i had my transits and so on so he could you know make me feel a little com a little more comfortable and so on so i didn't have a u.s visa and of course that is another problem because everybody in jamaica knows that spending that money to go to the u.s embassy you might walk out with no visa and that is a problem all right i needed to get to japan i had no money to waste and the possibility of not getting the visa when i got there was a tremendous tremendous struggle for me you know of course i could apply for a transit visa but then what's the sense applying for a transit visa you only can pass through the u.s three times what happens when i get to japan huh and i want to go back home i'm going to have to go back to the embassy the whole thing all over again so i wanted to apply for a regular visa and that is what i did with faith and all that and guys let me tell you something Actually, that's not what I did. What I did was I was so scared to go and not get the regular visa that I ended up applying for the transit visa and saying, you know what? If it is that I'm going to go back to Jamaica, I'm just going to have to go back to the, the embassy in Japan and try to get a regular visa from here because by that time I would have had a job and all that stuff. 
Anyway, I applied for the transit visa guys and I went to my appointment at the US Embassy and I got a regular visa. Um, God was on my side. God was very great to me and that was my, that was like a first big blessing that I actually looked at and said this was definitely Jesus Christ stepping in and helping a sister out so yeah that was that that was started out and then it was time to leave to go to Japan <laughs> and I think I'll stop I'm going to stop this video right here and then do a part two because I think this has been a very long video so far so I will be uploading part two next week or maybe this week you know just to keep it together a little bit yeah so I will see you in part two of this video bye <laughs>